welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is how to extract accounting data from Thomson Reuters database using the ICOM system in an app called Screener. So let's go to ICOM. So, okay, I'm logging in. This is the home page. And how do we find the screener? We go here to the top left, click here. Screener, it is on my uh, start page. However, it is not common to have, uh, to have on that. So how do we find it if it is not here? We go down, 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 app library. App library. It will show all of their apps and search screener, screener, and, and then open. What is the good stuff about screener? We can download from a lot of different companies at the same time. If I want, want only one, this is not the best way. The best way is type the name here. For instance, Delta Airlines. Delta, Delta Airlines. And we go to financial. And here we have income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, and so on. So balance sheet here. And here is per quarter. Because here on my top left, period quarterly. So period annual, we have annual and on settings here, advanced option, we can choose a lot of stuff here. For instance, uh, display order, hide unpopulated rows, include partial statements or only complete statements and scaling, medians and period and so on. And number of periods here is all periods last five years and update view we have here only five years and so on so for only one company this is the best way however i don't want only delta airlines i want all of the airline companies around the world so let's go to screener app library screener open and here we are. So public companies, currency. Uh, if you are working with only one country, choose the currency of that country. It's easier. However, I want to collect data from a lot of different countries. So it's better to choose one currency. And by the way, the easiest one is US dollars or your local currency. And it's not so good to search in all of different uh, currencies here because, for instance, if I want to compare revenue, they must be in the same currency. So we will leave here, US dollars, include public companies, that is what we are working with. And here we can create lists and so on. So another topic, not a very good topic, by the way. And here is our filters. Uh, country, I want airlines only from one country. For instance, my home country, that's Latin America, Brazil. So we can do that. Or, okay, I want all over the place. Cool. And country of exchange, that is where the stocks are listed. Sometimes it's the same as the headquarters, sometimes not. And country of incorporation and so on. Company market cap. And here I want the airline industry. So let's come here. Industry name. So let's add it. We can add it from here. So, okay, it's customers, uh, cyclical automobiles and auto parts and so on. If I already know it. If I don't know it, for instance, airlines, I don't know exactly the uh, which industry they are. So I just type here. It's transportation, best airlines. 
So here we have the airlines. Done. And here we have, let's go, Icon. Here, airlines. Okay, we have here companies from a lot of different countries. So now I want the country. So I come here on these three rows here, launch data from item library. Let's find the country of headquarters. Country of headquarters. And let's OK. Let's see how we have it. Germany, Hong Kong, US, French, UK, US, and so on. So here we have the country. Now the accounting data. Let's go here, add columns. For instance, current assets. Current assets. Total current assets. Here, if we click add, it will show us only the last one. However, I want more than only the last one. So I click here, series. Last, two, three, four. We can choose a lot here. So last, three. And here we have fiscal year, fiscal semi-annual, fiscal quarter, and so on. So let's go to fiscal year. Newest to oldest and so on. So we can leave everything here. Okay. And here we will have a problem. We don't have the date here. Only fiscal year zero, minus one, minus two. Man, when is the last day? When is the last fiscal year? We are in 2020 recording this video. Okay, we assume that it is 2019, but we cannot assume anything in accounting. So we should add, what is the last date of this balance sheet? So we come here, add column, balance, balance sheet. Let's see the option here. Period and date. So when is the last end date for our balance sheet. Come here. 2019, 2019 here, January 2020, because it's not very often to have another date besides uh, December 31st, but we can have it. So look at this one. Uh, wow. For you guys who speak Netherlands or Deutsch, it's quite Easy, but for me, it's not easy to pronounce this name. What is the KLM before the merge with Air France? So here, the last period date is 2004. So this number here is from 2004. Another company here, uh, 2007, this Riverhawk Aviation Inc. So probably it is not a good company for us now. And okay, but here another one, not a good one, 2017. Okay, I need to add this info here before the current assets. So we click here and we move here. And now let's follow here. I want inventories. Inventory, actual, always, and then series, three fiscal years. We are working with three fiscal years. And I want, I don't want to go there all the time. I want to insert a lot of variables. So here, add, it comes here, and then property, oops, come back here, property. Plane and equipment total. Serious. Three years. And total assets. Total assets. Actual. Serious. Three fiscal years. Uh, current liabilities. Total current liabilities. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
current liability, not mean actual. B. Add. And okay, revenue. Net revenue. Net revenue. Actual. Also three fiscal years. Add. So let's check here. If we have numbers, sometimes we just select bad numbers. So here, NA, not available. They don't have it. Uh, so here, sometimes airlines, wow, a lot of missing data here. Whoa, net revenue missing data. So we are looking at bad numbers here. So let's delete it. To delete it, only go to the X. X, X, X. So let's go back here. Let's try it again. Inventory. Total inventory, not actual. Serious three fiscal years. Add. Property, plant, and equipment. And here, guys, okay, I am not sure what it is. Description represents fixed asset report before depreciation, but without a delineation. Here, so. And here, so, but I want after depreciation, not before depreciation. Well, let's go to the second one. Uh, reduced by accumulated depreciation. So, serious three fiscal years. Add it. Let's go. Okay. And now we have the numbers. Okay. And then here, for instance, River Hawk. Remember, we don't have the last two years. Okay. Aviation links. We don't have total inventory. A lot of airlines companies, they don't report inventory. Uh, here, property plant and equipment. We don't have it, but usually we have the numbers. Here, we don't have nothing here. So probably this company is closing. And let's go for instance, total assets. Total assets represent the total assets of a company. So serious here, three fiscal years, edit. Uh, total current Liabilities, total current, oops, total current liabilities. E, add it and OK. And here we have our numbers here. We also have some ratios. Let's check here. Oh, let's first of all, let's go to the revenue. Revenue. Net sales or revenue. Gross sales and other operating revenue, less discount. And what is the difference between this revenue and this revenue? This revenue here, only for industrial and utility companies. We are working with airline companies, so we don't want it. Revenue here. Whoops. Oh, here, sorry. Revenue here, we don't have this series here. So revenue here probably is the one that we want, but I am not sure either. So, okay, let's check if we have numbers here. Revenue, we have numbers here. So we are, we are good. Sometimes we will not have it. And then when we don't have it, we go to the previous method and we collect one by one, okay? And our ratios that we have some, for instance, current 
ratio, current ratio, series, three fiscal years, edit, current ratio. We have it here. So we sometimes we have some ratios. We don't have all of them, but a lot of them we have it. Okay, what do I do with all of these numbers? Man, I cannot, okay, I can increase here the length of the column and so on, but I want it on Excel. How do we, how do we export it? Please never copy and paste. It will screw your Excel file. Much easier. Here, Excel. Export all as values or formulas. Value is what we usually do. So you just save it and it will give you an error message. Probably. Oh, you're good. And here we have our numbers and we can increase here. Here we have our numbers. Okay. We can also export as formulas. What do we have here? Save. Nothing here. Why nothing here? Because we need the uh, data stream added in our Excel. If you have it, it will log in here. Sign in. It will sign out my previous one. And if we have the data stream here, it will add them as data stream. It's good because if they report a new one, it uh, inserts here automatically. So it will refresh it and then not signing in because I need to sign in here on Thomson Reuters. Signing. Let's see. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Refresh data. Whoops. Preview. Let's see if it works. But data stream, if you are not familiar with ICOM, it is harder to collect our numbers. Okay, so let's check here. Retrieving. So that's why I don't like it a lot. Usually it takes very long time. And here, if I, I am logged here, your session is expired. So I need to re-sign in uh, or to re-log in, sorry, if I want to use the ICOM system again. And here, uh, survey response is not valid, so sometimes it doesn't work. So that's why usually I don't uh, export it as formulas. I export it as values. Okay, guys, so thank you. Please subscribe our channel, like this video, like our uh, Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarpy. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at scarpy.gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.